I'm sick and tired of cheese enchiladas. If you're vegetarian and you like Mexican food, you're probably sick to death by now of cheese enchiladas and bean burritos. But I have a solution. Broccoli enchiladas. So I'll start by making the filling for the enchiladas. I've got 225 grams of broccoli heads, 125 grams of ricotta cheese, 100 grams of grated cheddar cheese, three or four tablespoons of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, a beaten egg, one crushed clove of garlic, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cumin powder. Bring a large pan of water to the boil, add in the broccoli, and blanch for one minute. After one minute, remove from the heat, drain, and refresh under cold water. Then dice the broccoli heads. Alrighty, that looks pretty good to me. Put the broccoli in a bowl with the ricotta, the garlic and cumin, half the parmesan cheese, and half the cheddar cheese. Season with some salt and pepper and mix well. Finally add in the beaten egg and mix that in too. Hey presto, want filling. Next I'll make a simple enchilada sauce for which I've got a crushed clove of garlic, two tablespoons of plain or all-purpose flour and two tablespoons of a mild chilli powder, something like ancho chilli powder. Heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil in a pan over a medium heat, add in the flour and cook for about a minute until the flour starts to brown. Now slowly add 300 ml of either water or vegetable stock. If you find any little lumps in your sauce you can easily deal with them with a whisk. When your sauce is smooth Add in the chilli powder and the clove of garlic, mix them in, bring it to the boil. Now let this simmer gently for about 15 minutes, stirring from time to time. Now while I'm waiting for my enchilada sauce, I've got four soft flour tortillas. I'll spoon on a quarter of the mixture, spread it out and then roll it up. one side and do the next one. Now I'll pop them into a baking dish, take a nice thick enchilada sauce and pour it over the enchiladas. Now sprinkle on the remaining cheddar cheese and the rest of the parmesan. Now we'll bake this in the oven at 190 degrees C for about 30 minutes. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Time to serve. Sprinkle on some chopped tomato and chopped onion and a few leaves of coriander. Let me just state here and now that I refuse to take responsibility for anybody who chooses to do anything other than use a mild chilli powder in their enchilada sauce. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Nihan. Until next time, Chuda Hafiz.